this beer tastes a little bit like purple. There's no other way to no, explain that. There isn't. But when you try it, you're like, yeah, that's purple. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Made Crafts. We are here at Steam Hollow Brewing Company in Mantino, Illinois. Here to try the brews, check the views, and see what they offer to all of you. If you haven't already, don't leave us untapped. Tap that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never have to miss one of our brewery tours again. Hey, guess what guys? What? They got beer inside. Come on, let's go! <laughs> You're slow today. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Made Crafts. I'm Mallory. Chu is this side of camera today. There. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> and we also have my bestest best friend, Karen, here. So Karen's joining Hi. in. <laughs> So this is gonna be fun today, I'm super excited. So we are here at Steam Hollow Brewing Company in Mantino, Illinois. The weekend of filming is actually uh, Memorial Day. We have chosen to film in a brewery that is completely veteran owned, family owned, family and kid friendly, dog friendly, and gorgeous as heck. Very nice. Oh, I haven't seen a brewery this pretty in a really long time. The woodwork, the metal work, I mean, just this sign behind. Are you seeing the details on these gears? Like, this is nuts. I mean, this place is fantastic. And we've tried a, a couple of their beers. We're like, yep, done. We got to show people because amazing. Super excited to show you what they offer. And we're going to start with first round. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> We are starting with Brass Apple. This is a golden shellback. It's a Belgian style golden ale. ABV is 10%. Did I really get a 10%er to start with? <laughs> Apparently I did. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. I got a I did not mean to do that, so yay. So we have a 10%er. I've uses eight. It is gluten reduced, which is fun. I love that. It says it's like an old fashioned apple pie. So I don't know what that means, but we're just going to go right for it. Let's see what the brass apple is. Oh my God, it smells like an old fashioned apple pie. <laughs> it smells like a cider, but malty, like mm. super malty cider. It smells wonderful, almost dessert like um, old fashioned apple though. They're right on the old fashioned. It's not like the ciders you get now that are super sugary and like saccharin. This one's like original, the tartness of the original apples. So it's kind of fun. All right, cheers to the beginning of first round. After having a Memorial Day or summer party dinner spread that everyone brings their potluck things. Sitting down, sun's going down. You hear fireworks in the distance. With a glass of this, you're not helping. Oh. With a glass of this, Oh my God, the campfire is just about to be set up. Oh my, yeah, I, I could I could drink nothing but this all summer. This, I, I'm not kidding. You wouldn't be able to walk. Oh, it's a 10 percenter. <laughs> well, I don't need to walk. I would be stationary because I'd be happy. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, that By the way, my dad is also with us today. And he's walking around behind the camera right now, waving his arms all silly. Um, my best friend Karen, I forgot to mention, is not a beer drinker. I can't taste apple in this. <laughs> Usually I can yeah. just taste beer, but I can... This is like if apples were... Beer. Beer. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's not a beer fan at all. In fact, mm. even with my extensive beer selection, I have not been able to find a beer that Karen has enjoyed. What'd you think, guys? Apple pie. Sour. It's, apple. Yeah, it's yeah, a tart, tart, tart apple pie. Tart, not sour. Yeah. Tart. Beer. <laughs> and she says beer. <laughs> and strong as heck. Yeah. But my gosh, if, if they have this canned, I'll be taking some home. Yep. 
second beer of first round is their Sprocket Sie Deutsch, um, which, first of all, hilarious name. Love it. This is their Hefeweizen. And yeah, we're going to hop right in. Strong banana on the nose. Uh, that looked funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird sentence, but it is very strong banana. I'm not getting the clove and spice on the scent. But grain scent to it. Cheers, everyone. Oh, huge banana flavor, but not overly sweet, not overripe banana. It's like just straight up banana. It has the spice close to it, but it's very gentle and the flavor drops quickly. It doesn't linger too long, but you still smell it. You're not tasting it, but you're still smelling it after. So that's interesting. Light and refreshing though. That's nice. Enjoyable. I like it. I like Hefeweizen. Choose, <laughs> choose a big fan of Hefeweizen. All right. The next one I'm super excited about. It is Graham Cracker Sandwich. What? Graham Cracker Sandwich. C R A C K apostrophe A Sandwich. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so for Memorial Day, we're on a family getaway. Uh, we have my best friend, Karen, who is my sister in all ways and forms. I mean, she's, yeah, we've been together since we were five. Yeah. We have my husband too, obviously. We have Chu's mother and my father, and we're all in an Airbnb <laughs> together on a river, and it's so much fun, and we've been having the best time for Memorial Day. Um, she wants to try the graham cracker, so I gotta get to it. Brown ale, 5% ABV, <laughs> uh, 10 IBUs, gluten reduced as well. S'mores brown ale. Tis the season for fireside beers. And it smells like a s'mores. Yes. Oh. We're gonna be making some tonight. I know, we're making yes. s'mores tonight. We're having wait. a campfire and making s'mores, and now I'm drinking a s'mores beer and I'm happy. I love this on every level. It is so good as a brown ale. It has a hot bite on the end, unexpected hot bite. It closed down super bitter, but my God, the beginning is so sweet. You taste marshmallow, straight up marshmallow, the chocolate end. as well. Okay, Very. I can smell it. Yes. No, I can, it smells like it'll taste delicious. Can I just smell it and preserve that forever? <laughs> it it smells like a s'more, it that's does. amazing. With a little bit of camp flavor. Yeah, like the yeah. very little smoky. <laughs> oh. And Marcy's taking it away. All right, uh, my mother-in-law has decided that she will be keeping this beer. Can I take it? Of course, and let me have one more sip and then it's all yours, okay? <laughs> Mom-in-law gets what she wants, so. So that's the best one so mm. far for me. God, that's good. I'm so ordering another one of those if I'm not falling over by the end of this. <laughs> and she's gone. She's heading back over to chat with my dad at the other table. <laughs> she and dad have both sat on uh, in, in on filmings before and they're like, eh, we'll hang over here, it's fine. But they keep sneaking over for different things. We are moving on to our last one. When we first got here, dad, of course, had to get himself a beer right away because he knows if he's sitting around for me filming, he doesn't get to drink for the first 30 minutes we're here and he doesn't like that. So the first thing he did was got himself an APA, wrenched APA. This is 6% uh, ABV, 30 IBUs, gluten reduced as well. It says, a mouthful of flavor. This APA has floral hoppy notes with a balanced flavor of malty goodness. Looking forward to trying this. So let's see, my, I know my dad loved it. He spoke very highly of this one. I had to put it on the first flight. I smell hops straight up. Mm, a little bit funky on the hop, but not overly funky. So um, we're diving into an APA. Cheers to the last beer of first round. Big citrus hop bite in the front. Straight up, I have the citrus and hop on both sides of the tongue the whole way back. After the swallow happens, I breathe out and smell grapefruit. And then you get this flavorful, soft, malty coating over the tongue. After, the, after you've swallowed is when you taste the malts. That is lovely. It's a whole journey. Don't you love how she describes it? I do, actually. You know, it is. <laughs> I know. Every time that I listen to her talk about beer, I think it's going to taste amazing. <laughs> it's it's my own fault that it's not. My taste buds are wrong, obviously. I would just prefer to listen to Mallory talk about beer than actually drink it, because it sounds 
a journey indeed. And this has been the end of first round. We are going to show you a little bit more of the space. We are going to have second round as well, and we got Choose Challenge. Chu already picked Choose Challenge. Before first round started, he picked Choose Challenge. That never happens. Usually it's like a scramble when he realizes, oh yeah, I have to do that. I'm growing um, up. We're so proud of you. <laughs> I'm all grown up. <laughs> you going to start using the actual hamper now? or no. oh, Okay. It was worth a shot. All right, we're going to finish these up and show you some of the space. Mm hmm apple pie. Cheers, everybody. Hello everyone, we are here with second round and we are ready to get started. I hope you enjoyed your tour because this place is gorgeous. The woodwork, just the woodwork alone, it's nuts. The, the tables are freaking cool, like everything. The bar is copper coated with resin over the top, it's beautiful. I say it wrong. Yeah, I still, I <laughs> still say it wrong sometimes, but yeah, it's just gorgeous. We are ready to start second round and I am starting with High Lift. This is their light pills. So this is a 4.5 ABV, 11 IBUs, uh, gluten reduced as well. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but every single one is gluten reduced. It says, we did a thing and surprised JFB Off-Road with their very own beer, light and refreshing. This is High Lift JFB. That's the place right next door that oh, works on the cars. Oh. <laughs> they surprised their next door neighbors with a beer named after them, which I think is super sweet and really fun. So we're gonna see how it smells. Um, cracker, bread, yeast, and there's a sweetness. Puppy's love. It, yes, it's <laughs> sweet like a puppy's love. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. You helped a lot. <laughs> I am always very helpful. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh, super light, super refreshing, and it's there's a floral backing to it. Oh, I, I really like that. It's so refreshing, so light, and I feel like that's an all-day drinker, actually. 4.5 ABV, that's, yeah, you could start early on a holiday weekend and go with that one all day. We're moving on to the Static Cake. This is a 5% ABV, 15 IBUs, gluten reduced, and it's a cake with all the sprinkles and unicorn goodness, is how they describe it. And now I'm frightened. This one is a Blondale. And let's see how it smells. That's cotton candy. Ooh, Karen said cotton candy for this one. I'm guessing. Psychic. I just had it on yeah. the wrong beer. You smelled it from that far away. That's right. That's what it's, it it smells like sprinkles. It smells like sprinkles. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Right now, just smell this. 
it smells like sprinkles and frosting. Oh my gosh, you're right. It smells no, it like, really does. It scared the heck yeah. out of me. That's cake. It is. Let's see how this one tastes. Cheers, everyone. Do you ever want to just chant while she's drinking like cake, 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 cake? <laughs> it kind of tastes like cake too. Really? There is a maltiness that has a caramel toffee, almost baked good flavor to it. It tastes like you had a yellow cake and you let it bake to the point that the top turned a really golden brown. That flavor. God, I love how she describes this stuff. Can you definitely yeah. envision it or? That is sweet as heck and it is gorgeous. And again, that is like an all-day drinker for me. This is a five percenter. I could do an all-day of this beer, but with a cake aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, beer with a cake aftertaste. I, I I agree. I agree. And the scent is all the the sprinkles and frosting. That's another one that, like, if I could just have the scent, I'd be happy. Yeah. That is cake beer. But you know, it's not so sweet that you're like, oh, sugar. No. It's not that sweet. It's not. Of rich and there is a bitterness on the clothes you do get a bitterness in the clothes but yeah there is definitely a sweetness that permeates and your nose is just filled with the scent of cake the whole time i really like that one god i'm gonna have to take like six four packs home from here this is gonna be insane <laughs> how am i supposed to we don't have enough room in the car we got five people in our car right now oh my god the next one is called Jim's Dandy Stout, American Stout, 5.5% ABV, zero IBUs, gluten reduced as well, chocolate caramel and toffee stout. My father ordered a full one of these and said you have to have it in the second round. I'm like, okay, sure. I'm just amused that my rock and roll baby boomer motorcycle riding father ordered a beer with the name Dandy in it. <laughs> and enjoyed it. And enjoyed it. Let's see how it smells. And I get chocolate, a little bit of caramelized sugar, uh, not toffee necessarily, it's like a Heath bar. It smells like a Heath bar, where it has that toffee and it has the chocolate together. And you know, Chu loves Heath bars, so I think you're gonna enjoy this one. The smell especially. I'm All right. Waiting. I just got told off, see that? <laughs> no. Whoa. Bin chocolate to start, Swiss Miss chocolate. Straight up like chocolate powder. Not so much on the toffee. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of it, the caramely toffee kind of flavor, but the chocolate permeates. Really light mouth feel though. As far as the stout, Sousco, I, I expected it to be very heavy when I was smelling it. I expected like a coffee, chocolate, steak in a glass, super ground up, yeah. But no, this is really, really light in the mouth. It drinks like a blonde, but tastes like a dessert porter, actually. Some blondes drink more than others. That's what I was going to say. No, sure. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm brunette. <laughs> Did you smell Heath Bar, though? I forgot to smell. <laughs> she forgot one of his basic senses. <laughs> he didn't forget to smell. He smells all the time. <laughs> she smells. <laughs> now I can't smell it because I tasted it. Because you tasted it, it first. So now I do get the caramel. Chocolate beer. It is chocolate beer. I get more of the caramel than the chocolate. But you know, that's smoke. Am I there, wrong? There is a smoke okay. afterwards when you breathe out. Your, I'm getting it on the roof of the mouth. Yeah. Like a. a like the liquid smoke kind of feel. Nice work. Look at you. See, I'm already a pro at this. Yeah. You I can go home, too. I, I got it. So but I taste caramel, and neither one of them did. You know, Karen didn't make as bad a face on that one as some of the others. Yeah, that so. was a very mild, disgust face because yes. it was more chocolatey. We are on to our last one. It's called Second Breakfast Coffee. This is a Russian Imperial Stout. It's 10 percenter and zero IBUs. Uh, this one is also gluten reduced. Chocolate and coffee collide in the breakfast stout. Chocolate and coffee. All right. We are gonna dig right into this 10 percenter. Ooh, 
Coffee first, espresso, dark, heavy coffee scent. The chocolate that I'm getting is Baker's chocolate. It's unsweetened chocolate. Cheers, everyone. That is bitter as heck, but in the prettiest way. Yes, I get the chocolate, and it is straight on Baker's chocolate. It's not 90% dark chocolate. No, 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 forget any of that. Baker's chocolate. No sugar, none. And cocoa nibs, uh, cacao, cacao nibs, I, I always say that wrong, but they have a bite to them and there's an acidic quality that comes along with them. So there is definitely a sharp bite to this and it is a dry, dry finish. As I'm speaking, I can feel the tongue drying out from the sip and I immediately want to dive right back in and have another sip to solve that problem. This one is lovely for that. That is a strong, upright stout. It's Chocolate and puff. It's yeah. got muscles. <laughs> Strain door. Yeah, trog door. That's it, thank you. It currently has chew in a chokehold. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like a 10% or that. It doesn't taste like a 10%, that's true. So think dragon's milk, but not creamy. This has been second round. We got choose challenge coming up next. All right, folks, it's time for Choose Challenge. And this brewery has a cool table. First one we found, this is the 25th brewery we filmed. First one we found with a pool table. So, uh, we have our normal layout set. And what we're going to do, me, Karen, and Chu, so all three of us, uh, it's whoever gets three balls in first. It doesn't matter stripes, doesn't matter solids, doesn't matter eight ball. None of that matters. First person to get three balls in. All right, um, to make it more fair, you get one hit and then the next person goes, then the next oh. person goes, then the next person goes. That way, if you get a ball in, you can't just run the table and get three. I so like it. Everyone gets one turn and the first person to three balls in wins. Who's going first? Who gets to decide because it says you. challenge. Oh, I'm going first? Ladies first. Oh, so I have to break. Yes. All right. You go first and then Karen. And then the third lady, me, <laughs> All right. Nothing. Karen's turn. And he got his third. <laughs> Chu just won Chu's challenge. Maybe she didn't need to my challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you say that again close to the mic? <laughs> I said we should have named it my challenge and then I would have won. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, Chu wins Chu's challenge. But we're going to go ahead and continue because it's fun. So cheers, everybody. Hello everyone, we're here at Steam Hollow Brewing Company in Mantino, Illinois, and I am here with John. He is one of the beer tenders here. Hello John, thank you for talking to me, I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Um, just a couple questions, I was just wondering where the brewery came from, the history, background? Local uh, brewer, he uh, was just brewing in his garage and then wanted to do it full time, they did it. Uh, they've been here for about a little over three years, and so far everything seems to be going good. They, so it's... it's uh, Husband and wife, and Husband they're both and Navy, Navy veterans. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, what kind of beers do they specialize here? Uh, 
Do they really have a, a Russian Imperial Stout usually? That's pretty on their anniversary beer they make every year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It changes up from year to year. But and that's the airship, the correct? Airship, yep. Fantastic. And they've done, I see two and three. I assume there was a one. Yes, so there must yeah. be a four for next summer. Or is it summer or uh, fall? February, usually. February, yeah, okay. They opened, uh, and that's when they do the part, anniversary party and everything. That is so cool. But, I mean, the decor is beautiful. The space is great. Um, I assume you do other things for veterans, too. Oh, yeah. They, they get involved with, like, the, the bike runs and the events and stuff and different, like, just stuff around town they did all with. That's awesome. And I actually, as we've been sitting here, I've seen several motorcycles coming in and out, cycling through. And the space is huge. Do you do live music as well? Yeah, usually every Friday and Saturday there's live music. And uh, once a month or twice a month that they do a craft market on Sundays. Oh, they I have love different that. vendors all over the brewery. That's fantastic. Yeah, they bring food trucks in and stuff for everything. What's your favorite on the menu? Uh, right now I would probably go with the, the Wrench Pale Ale. That one was delicious. That's the first one my dad tried and he loved it the moment he tried it. Could you tell our viewers the address here it's and the a, phone number? There's no phone number. It uh, actually is uh, 450 South Spruce in Mantino, Illinois. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, the social media? Uh, they're on Facebook and everything. I. I think that's it. I don't think they have a Twitter or anything like that. But. Well, I'm going to post everything that they have linked to their website down below in the description and on the screen here in front of you. But thank you so You're much welcome. for chatting with us, John. No I really problem. appreciate your time right. and the beer, all the beer. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, thank no you. We've had such an amazing time at Steam Hollow Brewing Company in Mantino, Illinois. If you get a chance, you have to check them out. First of all, the beer is phenomenal. Second of all, they're veteran-owned, family-owned. I have veterans in my family I care very much about, and it's very important to support those people who have served our country. And this brewery is doing that all over the place. So 100% check out their beer, check out their space. And from my whole close family to yours, Cheers, everyone. All right, so we are going to be starting with, if I can get to the list, because, you know, I'm a professional who's ready when I start these things. Amateur. You said professional. Oh, professional amateur. <laughs> An amateur professional? <laughs> Don't let him talk, guys. In the comments, tell them to, <laughs> to shush, okay? All right. One minute on this one. It's broken now. <laughs> yes. Oh, you turn it up. <laughs> He's pointing it at you. Don't point it at me, you're the talkie. <laughs> They always hear me. This is not time for them to hear somebody else. <laughs> not Dandy Jim, silly me. <laughs> uh, Who would call beer Dandy Jim? I do. I believe everything that you say. I got a bridge to sell you then. <laughs> oh, I've been eating a bridge. <laughs> we'll talk prices later. Four pina coladas, maybe I can get her to try some beer and not I have... do like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. <laughs> My dad is over there with his hand over his head going like this, trying to mess with me while I'm doing this, which is it problematic. Works, just spill beer. <laughs> <laughs> I just told him he will suffer. <laughs> 